So you need to try and book a meeting with a client of yours. So what do you do? You email them and you say, Hi John, it'll be great to have a meeting with you next Tuesday. A few minutes later you get an email back, Hi Mary, yeah that'll be great, so when do you want to meet up? So then you reply, well I can do next Tuesday morning at 10am or next Wednesday at, at 5pm. So then you get a reply back a few hours later, really sorry, I can't do either of those dates. <laughs> Drives you nuts, isn't it? I have a solution. Here are five ways Calendly would save you so much time booking meetings with prospects or clients. The first way this will help you is by sending the client a link and on that link when they click on it, it will show which sections of your diary is available for meetings. The second thing is to do what I did and that is to create three or four or five different types of meeting links. So the first link is maybe just a 15 minute call. The second one is 60 minute supply meeting. Third one could be a 60 minute one to one meeting on how you could help each other. The third way is to create a link that says 15 minute quick call and use that link and post it onto your LinkedIn profile so that people can easily book some time with you to see if there's any mutual reason for you to talk and maybe help each other. The fourth reason is probably my favorite reason and that is when you send somebody a link to invite them to choose when they're going to see you, you can add qualifying questions. For instance, you can say, are we meeting your office or my office? You can have a little drop down. You could say, what are the top three reasons for us meeting? And they can fill in that information. Or the third one could be, is there parking available? Yes or no? And the fifth reason is that once somebody has a Calendly invite in their calendar, it will send them a reminder in the morning or a few hours before the meeting is going to take place. Again, saving you time because they know you are coming. <laughs>